Yo, what's up, guys? It is Ben, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are in the capital here at Loftus Road uh, for Sheffield Wednesday versus Queen's Park Rangers. It's a massive game again for the Owls today. I mean, every single game until the end of the season is a massive game, but you know, today especially, QPR away, Queen's Park Rangers, um, only a few points ahead of us. At, at one point, we're down in the relegation zone with us, but since getting a new manager, uh, they've had a, a change in form. They've been really good recently, and to be honest, I can't see us winning today. They, they just look a lot better than we have been looking at the moment. And, uh, you know, I can see us probably losing like 2-1 today. And I've just got that feeling, that sinking feeling uh, in my mind at the moment. Because I'm not sure what the team's going to be. I'm not sure how we're going to play. Uh, we're quite inconsistent. So, you know, we'll just have to hope and pray that for some reason we get some sort of result today. But... I don't know, I just don't see it happening with QPR's form. They look very good at the moment. Still going to go with a 2-1 loss, but I really do, you know, hope. We do need to win today. I think we really, really need to win today. If we don't, then we'll be in a lot of trouble because we still got, you know, two or three really quite hard fixtures. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Can't foresee the future, but praying that Wednesday win. But let's move on to my predicted team through Fan Hub. Hello right, guys, on my left, as you can see here, is my Fan Hub team, my predicted team. And in goal, I've got James Beadle, got the back five of um, Valentin, Johnson, Fainwo, Ihequa, and Bambo Diaby. And then Volks and Bannon in the midfield. And then I've gone for Paveda, Masaba, and Ugbo up front. And I've also hit uh, Michael Smith as a little super sub. I've got uh, Ugbo for a little poacher point in case he scores. And I've got Paveda on the assister. So, you know, if he gets an assist, then he gets some extra points there too. But yeah, honestly, this is probably the team I would play. I'm not, I don't know. I, I don't think there was anything like seriously wrong tactically against Middlesbrough. I mean, the midfield was weak. We knew that, but I feel like the players just couldn't be bothered. So I feel like the team doesn't really need to change too much. I think it should be all right like this, but yeah, we'll just see what Danny Roll does. Trust in the man. If you guys want to get involved and predict your lineups too through the Fan Hub app, make sure to download it using my link in the description and use the discount code on the screen here to get yourself straight on the app and skip the queue. You can check into games, predict lineups, predict games, earn fan fee by doing that and use the fan fee points you get to buy things on the Fan Hub store. Anyway, let's move on to Danny Roll's team. Right then, guys, Danny Roll's team is out and uh, it's on the left here. It's uh, definitely different. Definitely different. I'm really not sure what's going on. In goal, we've got Beadle. I offer Bambo, Ihequa, and Fainwa, I think, is our back four. With I offer and Fainwa being the full backs, obviously. Uh, I offer more of a natural full but Fainwa more of a centre back, really, than anything. Um, so we'll see how that goes, because there's no Johnson on the bench either. So I don't know what's happened with Marvin Johnson, but we'll probably get to that later. Uh, yeah, Palmer and Bannon in the midfield, and then Windass makes a return, Perveda. Ugbo and Smith. So I'm guessing they're kind of a front four. Uh, Ugbo and uh, Ugbo and Windas on the wings. Paveda in the middle and Smith up front. But yeah, that starting lineup. I, I don't know what to say about it, really. I really don't know what to say about it. Um, it's interesting. It's definitely more attacking. Uh, so we're definitely going to bring the game to QPR today. It's just whether, you know, the question of do we score more than we concede, really, that's... That would be my main question today. But on the subs, we got Dawson, Valentin, Pedersen, Hendrick, Patterson, Volks, Kasama, Masaba, Kadamaji. I mean, it's actually a good bench. We've got Volks there, Patterson's back, uh, Kasama, Masaba, and Kadamaji. So loads of options, really. I'm quite happy with that. And Valentin on the bench. So we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes today. You know, trust in Danny Roll and hopefully manage to get a result today. But yeah, let's head over to Loftus Road. And hopefully, Wednesday can pick up three very vital points. Come on, the Owls. Most needed, most win. Come on. Saying everything is moving. 
Raiders coming off for Jedi Gasama. Really, really frustrating this. He basically just came back from injury as well. And he's already injured again. Hopefully not for long. He's he's been so good. Basically just almost created a goal just here. I don't know how just win this just outside the box but mate I think that was in and he just put wind us for descent that was in the box mate there's no way he's giving it just outside cheap 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 these refs have been doing us all game so far I don't know how that's not a penalty sorry I didn't get on camera my, 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 my camera fucked up man. How is that not a penalty? You can see them. Bad first half to be honest, but the referees are gonna get a huge boom because they were pretty shocking. I mean, uh, I don't think we should have had a penalty. I think it was just out. Yeah, missed an absolute sitter down here. Had a few more chances on top of that. To be honest, we should probably be winning this first half. QPR haven't really done much, but this is our problem. We're just not clinical enough, man. We we had we had to score when we when they had the chance. We we didn't. And now we've only got one half left to uh, score ourselves three points. It's going to be tough, but yeah. Let's uh, enjoy the little booze for the rest. Come on, lads. Back out for the second half here. We're out first. We're ready. Scoring in that end. Come on. Come on. Uh, 
one nil up. Genuinely, what a terrible goal that was. I don't even know what happened. They just like bundled in off Jedi Gasama. But yeah, we won in. One nil up. Away at QPR. Hopefully, we can just keep it or get another. Come on, lads. like Fame Woes coming off for Pedersen and uh, Michael Smith's coming off for uh, Paul Valentin. Pretty defensive we're going here, but yeah, let's hope it works. Come on. Don't get skin, Valentin. Don't get skin. Stop it! Where are we? Yes, Pedersen. Oh, shit. Six minutes, come on Wednesday, hold on. Away! Yes, Pato. in the capital. Let's fucking go! What an emotional roller coaster of a game, man. Bannon's loving it. He's riling up the crowd. Oh, my. Daddy roll! Daddy! Daddy roll! Daddy! Daddy roll! Daddy! Daddy roll! Follow the Wednesday, you're paradise. Follow the Wednesday, look at those eyes. Follow the Wednesday. Blow it, ref. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the shit in whistle. Look 
love that boy. I love him. What a guy. What a game he had today. Goal and assist. Beautiful. Oh. What a guy, Chris. Oh, Right then guys, back from Loftus Road now and uh, yeah, whoa, what a game. That was a much needed improvement after the, the Middlesbrough game on uh, Monday. But yeah, that was much better. Uh, we played a lot better today. I was, I was really impressed with it. And uh, I also, I thought QPR weren't as, as good as they could be. I thought they could have been better today as well. Uh, but we were just solid defensively, I think. And um, when it came up attacking, when we got chances, we took our chances. I mean, especially that last goal uh, through Masaba. We'll get onto that, but yeah, oh, oh, that was that was beautiful, real clinical that. But yeah, uh, we started quite well. I thought we dominated the first half. We had most of the ball, had had the best of the chances with the Josh Windass chance, which really should have gone in. Don't know how it didn't, to be honest. Uh, genuinely, I thought it would have been probably easier to score that than miss it the way he did off his knee, but it is what it is. On to the second half. Um, still, we played our game, but we also, we did kind of let QPR get a bit more into it. Um, I, I think they had a lot more of the possession in the second half, uh, especially after we got our goal, uh, which I'll talk about now. Jenny's goal, um, he did very well to get the ball in position. I, I was kind of annoyed with him that he didn't pass the ball off and just let, head on to, held on to it, but I didn't really know what happened. I've watched the clip back. I'm guessing someone kicked the ball into him and then it went in. I really don't know. It's, it's quite hard to see from all the way back when you're in the opposite end, but I really don't know uh, how he scored it. I'm fairly sure it came off, uh, just off him, off a deflection or whatever. But yeah, we'll have to watch that back of the highlights later tonight. But uh, yeah, and then after that, we held on. QP obviously hit the bar. They were, they were getting a bit close for my liking. And I knew we had to get another goal, but we left it pretty late and uh, by golly, did we get another goal? That goal was beautiful. Jenny Gassama down, down the left-hand side, uh, crosses it over, thought he was going to cut it in and shoot, but crosses it over, and then Masaba absolutely blasts it. I thought he missed, but no, it's just a beautiful strike off the underside of the crossbar and in to seal the deal for Wednesday, seal the three points. And uh, yeah, it gives us a much more restored hope now that we actually can stay in this division. A result like that is, is huge. So yeah, we've got Norwich next on Tuesday and Stoke uh, following Saturday next week. So. Those are two big games right there that you know we need to get some results and some points from. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Also, hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload. But that's a bit for me. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.